Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Lisa of Diamonds and Stitches, and today I have an unbagging. And with this unbagging, I am going to do an informational uh, video as well, because I think that there is a little bit of confusion on how to go about getting one of these awesome pens that I will be unbagging. So I'm going to move you guys down so you can have a look at what I have. Okay, so if you are a regular to my channel, you know what this lovely little package is all about. Oh, that's upside down, isn't it? There we go. Um, I have a super big love of acrylic pens. Now, when I first started diamond painting, I used the pens that were included in the kits. You know, the, the pink one or the blue one, whatever is included in the kit. Some come with a little squishy on them um, and some do not. I My hands started breaking out. It's like there's a coating or something in the plastic. And so my hands started breaking out from the diamond painting pens. And I got super sad because I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not going to be able to diamond paint after all. Well, then I found the pick me up pen. And I'm going to tell you guys, I actually loved the pick me up pen. And I used that sucker until the, uh, until the tip it basically broke because I had used it so much that it just kind of like, you know, uh, rough edges on it. Um, but I actually really did like the pick me up pen. Then I found polymer clay pens and I have a seller that I love to buy my acrylic, I'm sorry, um, polymer clay pens from and, um, who is cosmic pens. Uh, I really like her pens. Now she's doing some glitter pens and I, I don't have a glitter pen, like a full glitter pen, but I have heard that the texture of the glitter pen might not be what, you know, if you have texture on your fingers that you don't like. Um, she is able to seal them with varnish if you, if that is, you know, something. So you're still getting the look of the beautiful glitter, but you're not getting that feel, that weird rough feel that glitter has. But I really like her. Now I had, had purchased a couple of polymer clay pens from another seller on Etsy. And I just want to say that it was not the best experience at all. I was not impressed and I will not go back to that Etsy seller. I also don't give um, bad reviews, you know, just because I feel that small business, I just won't recommend them. So if I recommend a company, it is because I have used their products. I love their products. I love their customer service. Uh, their pricing is what I am happy to pay, um, that kind of thing. And so I will always do a review on items that I really like. I think that small business struggles. And so I'm not going to write a horrendous review or tell people. Now, if I'm asked, I will let you know, but I'm not going to publicly go in and say anything. That's just my choice. I used to be a small business owner and um, it's tough, you guys. It is tough. And so uh, I also believe in buyer beware. Yes, I do. But I, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a case of buyer beware. <laughs> I, it was just poor customer service. And so, uh, but again, I, I, I won't, if I have bought from you and you know that I haven't done a review, then that would be the reason why. Um, and this person has never contacted me, never reached out, never anything. And so, uh, you know, and I feel that that also can be an issue. So anyways, this company that I buy, so after the polymer clay pens, I went to acrylic pens. Now I found uh, the first acrylic pen because of Sherry at Diamond Art Addiction. And she was using one in one of her lives or one of her uh, YouTube videos, maybe. 
And I was just like, whoa, that pen looks gorgeous. Well, then when she mentioned who she bought it from, I was like, oh, Canadian company. I love to support small business. I love Canadians. I love Canada. Of course, I'm going to support my homeland. And um, so I have been a devotee of this company ever since. So their name is Diamond Pens. Now it's pens with a Z. And while I'm talking, let's get into this package as well. It's Pens with a Z. They are a Facebook group only. And uh, so you need to go to uh, Diamond Pens. I'm going to link the Facebook down below. So you can go, you request to join. And uh, once you join, you get on, you have the opportunity to uh, get into their sales. So, oh, I didn't even cut this. Oh, there we go. So, let me see here. These are pens. Oh, I got candies. Uh, these are pens that I won. So, this is how this system works. If you are brand new and you request to join, there are three sales. Is it three sales a week? Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, and they are at set times every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. They're open for several hours. The owner of the uh, website will post that there is a sale that day so that you're prepared. So if you have notifications, you'll get that notification. Then at sale time, she will post all of the pictures of the pens that they are going to sell that day. Then uh, the pictures go up. Most of the time, I don't think I've ever seen it not, but most of the time there is an auction pen along with the pen that, uh, or the pens that are up for sale. Now here's the kicker. There might be 12 pens that are up for sale. If you like all 12 pens, you can go in and say, me please, or interested, or, or I would love, whatever the case is, you know, something polite to say that you are interested in this pen. And then at the end of the sale, what Jen will do is that she will take everybody who has expressed an interest in that pen, and she will do a random name generator drawing for that pen. So if there are 20 people interested in that pen, one person is going to win that pen unless she has multiples and that's a different story. You have to pay attention to the sales. Um, then at that point, if your name has been in the other 11, so you say you won that one pen that she, she did the random name generator for and your name was chosen, but your name is still in for the 11 other pens, your name is not going to be included in that. If it comes up, she's going to draw another name because you can only win one pen per sale. Now, if you like the auction pen, you can go in and bid on the auction pen and have the opportunity to win that pen as well if your bid is the highest at the end of the sale. Uh, so you have the potential of winning two pens, winning the choice of purchasing two pens during the sale. But if you don't enter the auction sale, then you know you only you just then have the opportunity of one. Now there are a lot of members in this Facebook group, and so you may not win. You may not win. There are lots of times that I've gone into an auction sale and put my name in and I've not won. I have so many pens now that now when they're coming up, I select the ones that I really, really, really want. And if I don't get those, that's okay. So that that is how the sales are run. You can enter every single sale. Absolutely. If you want to, you know, enter Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm sorry, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday and get win a, a pen per auction. Awesome. Um, it may not happen. You might only win one pen in one auction for the week. 
you may not win a pen at all. It just really depends on how many people are in there and how many people have expressed an interest in the pens. Now, what they also do is they have newbie sales. And the newbie sale is for people who have never won a diamond painting acrylic pen from their site. And this is where I think the confusion comes in is that the, the newbies, we call it the newbie sale, the newbies don't understand that you can actually go in and comment on every single pen that you are interested in. You're just going to win the one. You're just going to win one if your name is drawn. So I think that that's the difference. So if you like the pens or there are several that you're interested in, don't worry, you're not going to be out hundreds of dollars. Uh, you're only going to be out the, for the cost of one pen if you win from the random name generator. <laughs> Does that make sense? I know that it, that's really long, but I have seen a couple of newbie sales recently that have not had a lot of people in them, or maybe they've only like one or two people have commented on one pen because they don't. There may not be the understanding on how to go about winning the pen. Now. The other way that you can get one of these pens if you're not successful in the sales is you can get on their custom list and they have a custom list, which is awesome. You go put your name on the custom list. They've been flying through that custom list, you guys. And you can order up to five pens that you like um, to purchase. And now those ones are you will need to purchase. You know, there it's not the... It's not the, uh, no, I, I didn't realize and I didn't realize that, you know, I was getting five. You know, if you pick five blanks, you can pick up to five blanks. If you've chosen five blanks, they're making you five pens. It's going to cost you for the cost of each pen. And it can, it can get into, you know, $100, $150 or more um, for your pens. Because I think that each custom is between 25 and potentially $35, $40, depending on the blank. I've gotten several custom pens. I love them. I have unboxings for every single one of my diamond painting diamond pens. I love them, you guys. Now, I think also there are 13 shapes that they have right now between 11 and 13 shapes. And with these sales, I'm also now being very selective, not only in the in the color of the blank that is being done or the pen, but also the shape. I have found that I like some very, very certain shapes. So let's open this one so you guys can actually see after that long winded explanation. I really hope that that helps because I think that there's some confusion over, you know, the random name generator and oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Do you guys see that? Yeah. So this actually is a new to me shape. And I think that this is one of their newer shapes too. They're just, they're, they released a couple of new shapes recently. And I am in love, you guys. Okay, so this one has a ball and it came with <laughs> candies. I love candies. I'm a candy girl. Um, it also came with these uh, three placers. So there's a three placer, a five placer, and a seven or nine placer. And then it also came with an adjuster. So they put in the single placer for you. Okay. And it can be removed. If it's really hard, just get a pair of pliers and you can pull it out that way. They're not glued in there. So that's nice. You can, if you choose to change this out, I now like the plastic tipped uh, single placers and that's what I'm replacing all my pens with. And then you take one of these placers and you just put it in the other side and you've got your your pen ready to go in whatever placers you like. If you don't, if you never use one placer, you don't have to. You could put your three placer or four placer from Storer on the other end, and then your additional placer or your adjuster, whatever, whatever works for you. You can customize your ends of your pens, which I think is fantastic. I love that. So this one has 
the space for your placer, your, your hole for the placer, and then it's got a ball. So this is a ball and then a little indent and then it flares from the, the um, end of this ball, the middle where it is the biggest is where it starts flaring out and it and then it starts tapering into the center so this is its smallest um there's a little piece of glue on there uh it, it tapers into the center here and this is at its smallest point which is nice and then it starts flaring back out so that these two ends are even and then another ball on the end here what I like about this, and I can tell you immediately, so I, let me move that up. So I hold my pens like this when I'm diamond painting to, and then when I go to pick up and, but when it's laying at rest, this is how I have my pen. And this is nice because my fingertip fits right where this part here is. It fits really nice in there. So then my thumb rests on this ball and just the very, very tip tip of this finger here rests. And then the center, this is awesome, you guys. This part here, okay, can you see that? Let me see if I can get you in there a little better. Nope. Okay, maybe that way. So right where this part is here, is sitting right on top of my middle finger here and it is really nice and comfortable you guys like it feels like it's not even there it's not an imposition of oh that's uncomfortable or whatever and then the nicest part is is that this this tapered part fits right in the crook of my between my thumb and my first finger here it just feels so nice it's not you know, there's not that weird intrusion of, oh, that feels uncomfortable. Let me move it around till it feels comfortable and move it down, move it up, whatever. No, it fits perfect. It's like these were made expressively, ex explicitly for my hand shape. <laughs> I know they're not, but I like to think they are because, you know, it's all about me. <laughs> no, mm -mm. but that is, um, that's the shape that I, and I just, I really like the thinner ones, the bulkier ones, because I have small, small-ish hands. Uh, the bulky ones are just a little too much for me. The, what they call the fatty ones, they're a little too much for me. I like the mid to the more skinny type. And so, you know, when you're choosing a pen, think of, you know, if you have arthritis or if you have MS or fibromyalgia or, you know, uh, some other condition of being able to hold your pen, what is going to like where you feel comfortable when you're holding something and try and pick that as your shape, because that's what's going to make you happiest, I believe. At least it does for me. And, um, and I just, I can't say enough about these pens. I really like them. I will always continue to support this company. Uh, they pull out some really beautiful products. It is fast shipping, you guys. Uh, the great thing is, is I live in the States and uh, they are a Canadian company. It comes from, was it Winnipeg, I think? Let me see here. No, this one came from Brandon, which is in Ontario, isn't it? I don't know. I think it is. And um, Manitoba. No, I think it came from Manitoba. And, um, you know, they, they just, it's super fast shipping. It came to me within just a little over a week, I think, you know, and clearing customs and all that. That's, it's not bad. It is not bad. Um, this pen, I just don't know if you guys can see like the true gorgeousness of this pen. It's several different shades of blue with some pearly white in there. And then it ranges from like a, a light violet to almost a magenta. Like it is, I, I don't even know what this is called, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I think I have another one coming too, but that is how you can go about getting one of these awesome diamond pens, pens with a Z. And I think I, I hope I explained how the sales run better. 
Um, if you're a newbie, you can join any of the sales. Like you can join the newbie sale if you've not won a diamond painting pen from one of the regular sales. Once you have won a pen from the regular sale though, you are no longer classified as a newbie. But if you have as a newbie gone in to the regular sale and you have not won, you're still a newbie and you can go into the newbie sale. And um, so, though I'm not the owner of the company, but that is that is my understanding is that if, you know, the newbie sales are for people who have not won a diamond pen in any sale yet. So that's my understanding. You can put your name on every single one of them. Don't worry, you're not going to be made to buy every single pen. If your name comes up, it's only going to come up once or you're going to get the opportunity one time, no matter how many times you've entered your name. So I think that that is all. I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, if you are a subscriber, returning subscriber, thank you so very much. Please give me a thumbs up. If you are new, also thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing. I really appreciate that. Uh, right now I have a contest, a giveaway contest that is going on uh, for my 350 subscribers. This video is, is on Monday, uh, September, what is that, 16th, and my giveaway is going until September 17th at 11.59pm PST is when I will be closing comments and then I will be announcing the winner during my weekly whips and sips collab that I am doing with the review on Seahawks and uh, so the giveaway winner will be announced in that video so pay attention to that video don't know if it's going to be beginning middle and don't know at whenever it you know helps and then the other great thing that I have going on right now besides my collab with the review and my giveaway is that I am doing a traveling I ca I'm calling it the traveling carousel of crafting goodies box it is a collab or it's not really a collab but it is a uh, thing that I am doing with a few other creators and I will link that information down below as well so you can go check that out it is going to be a lot of fun and it will be open until next Sunday I'm sorry this coming Sunday the I don't even know what date it would be um, 21st maybe September the 21st and then we're going to close it out and then get that box mailed off to people who are interested in being part of the traveling carousel box of goodies so thank you for joining me today I hope that you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye